Grandpa, I can't wait for the ski camp. Me and Jessica are going to be in the same room. Jessica's the best skier in the camp, and she said she'd teach me some tricks. I'm happy for you, Tater Tot. I'm going to miss you a lot, though. I know, Grandpa. I love to be at the festival, too. It's such a pity the camp dates clashed. It doesn't matter. You'll have a lot of fun with Jessica and the other kids. Yeah, Jessica's the best. I wish I was as good at sports as she is. You're already very good, darling. You don't have to be just like Jessica. But Jessica's the best at everything she does. And you're great at many things. Perhaps even better than Jessica. Like what? Like not cocking up your little nose. Grandpa, she's not like that. Just saying, you'd better start getting packed. Yes, sir. Mr. Wells is on the phone. Yes, Maggie's here. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Yes, I will tell her. Thank you. Take care. Maggie, darling, that was Jessica's mom. Is everything okay, Grandpa? Not really, sweetie. Jessica had an accident when she was playing volleyball. What? Is she okay? I'm afraid she's broken her arm. Oh, no! And that means she can't go to ski camp. I'm really sorry, Maggie. There you go, a newspaper and a candy bar. And how is your granddaughter, Mr. Wells? She's such a sweet girl. She's fine, Mrs. Martinez. Unfortunately, she didn't go to ski camp this year, though. Why? What happened? Her best friend broke her arm. Maggie decided to stay in town with her. That's so nice of her. You must be very proud. Oh yes, I am indeed. It's only one ski camp. I'm sure she'll make it next year. At least she's in good health, Mr. Wells. You can be grateful for that. Hello, little one. I think I left my wallet here earlier this morning. Yes, Mr. Wells. Mom told me you may come back for it. Thank you, young man. And where is Mrs. Martinez? Mom had to go to the hospital. I'm looking after the store until she gets back. Oh, is she all right? She's fine. She just went to visit my little sister. And you stayed here on your own. That's very kind of you. It's okay. Me and my sister always look after each other. I would do anything for my family. I'm glad to hear it. That's exactly what I always say, too. What's your name, young man? Diego. My name is Diego. You are a very smart boy, Diego. You must take after your mom. Let's call him. They must be on their lunch break by now. Who's going to talk first? I can do it if you're too afraid. I'm not afraid. Give me the receiver. Hello? This is Maggie Wells. Can I speak with Ted Summers, please? He's coming to the phone. Hi, Ted. It's Maggie. How are you? Hi, Maggie. I'm great, thanks. It's amazing here in the mountains. How's the winter treating you in town? I heard you stayed behind with Jessica. Yes, she's actually here with me now and... Hey Ted, we miss skiing so much. Are you having fun there? Yes, it's great. 
Wish you were both here. Us too. But, you know, at least we're not missing the winter ball. Sorry, girls. I've got to go. They're serving desserts, and I'm starving after a day on the slopes. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. That's it. He had to go get his dessert. Pfft. Let him stuff himself with cakes. I always wanted to go to the ball with Ted. Oh no. So what are we going to do? I wouldn't feel good going with him in that case. No, me neither. That means neither of us should go with Ted. Yeah, because that's what best friends should do. But we should still go to the ball. I'll go get my fashion magazines. So you can see all these amazing dresses. Ouch, no, it's Fatsy. Who? Fat Sausage. Just pretend we haven't seen him. Hmm. I think his name is Diego. Why does nobody like him? No, he's just no fun. Listen to him. His jokes are dull. I can't remember any of his jokes. Anyway, he's fat, unpopular, and from a poor family. We can't let him hang around with us. You know, Grandpa, he's just a bit silly and weird. I spoke with Diego a while ago. Did you know he's the son of Mrs. Martinez from the store? He's not at all the boy you described. But Jessica says, it's not about what Jessica says. It's about who he really is. Did it cross your mind that he must be very lonely? Try to put yourself in his shoes. But I trust Jessica. Why would I doubt what she says? Honesty, Maggie. Do you really feel okay just listening to Jessica? I... I actually don't. You should meet this boy. Be honest to yourself. It's not easy to stick to this virtue, but it's well worth it in the end, Maggie. Hello, my dear. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Martinez. I brought your grandpa's wallet. He left it in the store again. Yeah, he does keep doing it. I guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yep, I guess. You look a bit sad, Maggie. What's eating you? Me? Oh, nothing, really. Come on, Maggie. I can read you like an open book. What's wrong? Well, my friend is sometimes a bit arrogant and selfish and she's rarely kind to other people. Sometimes I don't like the way she acts. Just don't let it bother you. Why don't you tell her how you feel? Listen, Maggie, it's her problem, not yours. You're a good girl. You have nothing on your conscience, right? Oh. Hi, Diego. Hey. You must be Maggie. Yeah. You know my name. My mum told me about you. And I met your grandpa. Mr. Wells is a really cool guy. Yeah, I like him too. I haven't seen you in the cinema lately. No, I met him in my mother's store. I help her out from time to time. That's why I couldn't go to ski camp. Oh yeah? I bet you just can't afford it. 
My mum really needs my help. Sure, you must be absolutely irreplaceable. I do my... Jessica, why are you doing this? Doing what, exactly? You're being horrible to Diego. You're bullying him. Fine. If that's how you feel, then you have fun with your new friend. Bye, Fatsy. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, please ask Jessica to call Maggie back when she can. Goodbye. Do you think she'll call back, Grandpa? I'm sure she will. I'll keep my eye on the phone. No, I'm not interested in a loan. Yes, I ordered them for tomorrow. I'll be free at 6 p.m. Yes, you can make a reservation. Yes, I know they're having dinner, but it's very important. Thank you very much. Hello? Hey, Ted. It's Jessica. Hey, Jessica. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about it at the camp. But because I couldn't make it this year. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, I really miss skiing and being with everybody out there. Ted, you know, about the winter ball. Sure. Would you go with me? What's gotten into you? Since when have you and Fatsy been friends? Don't call him that. I was just talking to Diego. Why do you keep picking on him? You should try talking to him too. He's a really nice guy. Oh yeah? Then why not take him to the ball? I'm going with Ted. What are you talking about? I spoke to him yesterday, alone. He asked me to be his partner for the ball. What's on your mind? Jessica's going to the ball with Ted. What's on your mind? We promised each other we wouldn't go with him. What's on your mind? I don't know what to do. What's on your mind? I think Ted likes her too much. What's on your mind? This will ruin our friendship. Thank you for bringing my wallet back the other day. You're welcome, Mr. Wells. It was nice to meet Maggie. She's a really charming girl. Yes, she is. And how are things with your daughter, Mrs. Martinez? Is she getting better? Yes, she is. Oh, good. Diego mentioned it. I met him in the store when you were at the hospital. I see. Well, she is getting better. Thank you for asking. I have a friend in the hospital. He told me that treatment is very expensive. Well, I won't lie to you. It is. If there's any way I can help, I mean, the cinema's been doing very well recently. Mr. Wells, that is out of the question. I could never accept anything like this. Mrs. Martinez, please, just take some time to think it over. I'm sorry, but I have to refuse. I may not earn much, but I can take care of me and my family. This is my fate and I have to endure it on my own. Diego, when Grandpa's back, he said he'll show you the screening room. I can't wait. Hello, kids. Are you having fun? Good afternoon, Mr. Wells. I was just telling Diego about the cinema. 
Can we show him the screening room, Grandpa? Please, please, please. Sure, Tater Tot. Do you have the day off then, Diego? No, Mom doesn't need me in the shop anymore. Doesn't she? In that case, I wouldn't mind having some help here, Diego. What do you think? Have you ever wanted to work in a cinema? I'd love to. That's great. I'll have a chat with your mom about it later. And now, it's time to show you the screening room. And anything else you'd like to see. Follow me, kids. Diego was so curious about everything. And he's learning fast. He really is a smart boy, Mrs. Martinez. I'm glad to hear that. It's so nice that he became friends with Maggie. And it's so good for the kids to have company during the winter break in town. That's right. I was afraid that Maggie would be stuck here with that friend of hers. Frankly, she'd be better off spending time with Diego instead of that girl. Don't be too harsh, Mr. Wells. Many kids have stayed in town for the winter break and they all need some company. They must be really bored when there's no school. Actually, I think I have an idea of a way to make this more enjoyable for the kids. Well, that would be great. Thank you, Mrs. Martinez. Mr. Wells, your wallet. So, what's the big news, Grandpa? It's about the festival. Since there are so many kids staying in town for the winter break, I thought we might provide some entertainment for them. I decided to change the silent film festival into the kids' festival. We'll play old classic cartoons, the ones you can't watch in the cinemas anymore. Oh, that's great, Grandpa. I'd love to have you help out. Would you be willing to lend a hand, Maggie? Ugh, kids festival? I don't feel like being a child anymore, Grandpa. What do you mean, Maggie? Jessica says we're too grown up for silly movies. Did she now? And Jessica again? Listen, Maggie, there's no such thing as a silly movie. The only thing that matters is whether you enjoy the movie or not. How old you are doesn't matter at all. Well, I don't know. Okay then, maybe sleep on it and let me know what you decide. I was hoping we could do it together. If you're not in, I won't change the festival. I'm sorry, Grandpa. It could be fun to have a kids' festival in town. I think the kids would love it. I know. Now I feel guilty for not wanting to help. My mom says it's important to stick together and help your family. I only wish I knew how to help my sister. Isn't she better? You said that she was back home. She's only back home because we couldn't afford to pay for her treatment in the hospital anymore. Until we save up some money for her treatment, I can forget about stuff like skiing. And I don't mind missing out. All I care about is her getting better. I'm so sorry, Diego. There must be some way we can help her. Yes, there is a way. Hmm? I think your mother's right. You have to stay with your loved ones when they need you the most. We are going to help your sister, Diego. Come on, I have a great plan.
So that's why your mom doesn't need you in the store anymore. It's really sad news. Grandpa, I think we could help Diego's sister. Mrs. Martinez would have to let us help first though, Maggie. Yup, Mom can be really stubborn. But what if you set up a charity? Like you did for that orphanage last year. That might work. Maggie, you are such a clever girl. But there is one condition, Grandpa. Oh, and what's that? I want to help out, Mr. Wells. It's very important to me that I play my part. Well, frankly, I'm more than happy to have you on board, Diego. And me too, Grandpa. Let's make the kids' festival together. Oh, darling. Wonderful. Let's start planning the festival then, kids. We should make sure my mom doesn't know anything until the end of the festival. Of course, my boy. It will be our secret. And Mr. Wells, thank you so much. Hi, Fat Diego. Where's Maggie? She's at home. So what are you doing here on your own? I'm helping Mr. Wells prepare for the festival. Ha! Huh. So now she's making you do her chores? It's not like that. Isn't it? What makes you so sure? Because... You know why she's been spending so much time with you? She doesn't really like you. She's just jealous. Maggie can't stand the fact that I'm going to the winter ball with Ted. So she's trying to punish me. And that's why she became your friend. So pathetic. You've got it all wrong. Do I? Yes, you do. Gosh, I'm sorry for you, Jessica. Why would you, you? I think you're just a very lonely person. Guess how I know she doesn't like you. She told me herself. Have a nice day, Fatsy. Diego, is something wrong? No, Mom, I'm okay. Well, I can tell that's not true. What's getting you down? Don't want to talk about it? Not really. I just feel blue. Cheer up, Diego. After all, there's that big ball coming soon. I don't think I'm going to go this year. You don't want to go? That's odd. What's the point? I'd better get to the cinema. Hello, Mrs. Martinez. Hi, Maggie. Is Diego around? He hasn't shown up at the cinema yet. But he left home a while ago. Has anything happened to him lately? He seemed a bit upset. Nothing I know about. He doesn't even want to go to the ball this year. It's really weird. Diego loves parties and dancing. Does he? So why wouldn't he go? There must be some reason. Anyway, Maggie, I wanted to say thank you for being so good to Diego. He's been having a hard time lately. But if you kids look after each other, everything will be just fine. You know, I saw your mom this morning. We were talking about the ball, and she... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go this year. But why? It'll be good fun. I don't really like dancing, and I don't even have a partner. So what's the point? You don't like dancing? That's not what your mom says. Listen, 
Why don't we go together? But didn't you want to go with Ted? No, I didn't. Besides, he isn't. Hey! How do you know about that? Oh, well, Jessica told me. She didn't. She also told me that you only pretend to like me. You didn't believe her. No, not really. Jessica. Oh, hi, Jessica. What? I know what you told Diego. How could you? How dare you even show up here? You are the worst person I have ever known. I didn't mean... I'm so sorry. I'm not even listening to this. Just leave. Maggie, don't you think you might have been a little too harsh? How can you defend her? We all need a second chance sometimes. At least, that's what my mum says. You're right, Diego. After work, I'll check she's okay. Do you mind? Listen, Listen Jessica. Maggie. I'm really sorry. Me too. I was so angry. I was so stupid. I made it all up. What do you mean? Everything. I was just jealous of Diego. I... I'm not going to the ball with Ted. No? But you... Yes, I know what I said. He didn't ask me. I did. And... He'd already promised another girl he'd go with her. I lied to make you upset. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Jessica. I'm not angry anymore. You're not? Maggie, thank you so much. Actually, you should thank Diego. I mean, you really should. Mrs. Martinez, I have some good news for you. Following Maggie's advice, I have decided to donate the profit from the kids' festival towards your daughter's treatment. But Mr. Wells, I can't accept this money. That's too bad, because I can't keep it. The tax has already been registered for charity. But Mr. Wells, if you don't accept my offer, I'll have to give the funds to the Mole Protection Committee. And I really hate moles. So please, Mrs. Martinez, don't put me in that situation. I... I don't know what to say. Just say that you agree. Mrs. Martinez, I know you're a strong woman. But that doesn't mean you have to be stubborn and do everything by yourself. I... I mean... We all did it together. And Diego helped me a lot. He earned it through his hard work. Mr. Wells, I... I just... I can't thank you enough. Diego, I don't even know where to start. Hey, Jessica, not to worry. You don't have to say anything. Yes, I do. I was so horrible to you. I feel awful. I'm so sorry, Diego, for all I did. I've already forgotten all about it. It's water under the bridge now. You're not angry at me? No, Jessica. I was never angry. Diego, you have a heart of gold. I wish we hadn't got off on the wrong foot. It's never too late for a new beginning. Yeah, I guess it isn't. 
I'm so glad that you guys buried the hatchet. And I'm glad to see you all happy together. Why don't we celebrate and watch an extra film together, kids? Whatever you want. And after the movie, I'll take you to the bakery. They have delicious lemon cakes. Yes, I love movies, Grandpa. And, and I, I love, love lemon, lemon cake. cake. Looks like the winter holidays won't be so boring after all. <laughs>